Jesus, 100% God and 100% human, living the fullness of the human experience in this moment, wrestling with what so many of us have wrestled with at different places in our lives. Depression, anxiety, struggle, sorrow, grief, loss, pain, loneliness. And Jesus names them all. He doesn't hold back. He doesn't shy away. He doesn't just say, yeah, 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 I'm, no, I'm good. Jesus allows the fullness of his emotions to be present in this moment and, and shares them with his heavenly father and shares them with his closest friends who, like many of us, aren't sure what to do with this. So many of us take step back, steps back from people who are, are struggling because we're just not sure what to do in the moment. We're not sure how to talk about this. We're not sure how to share in this moment with them. We're not sure how to be attentive, awake, focused, vigilant is the way that we might put it. And Jesus invites us to just be present with people. To just be people who are bold enough to say, I, I don't have all the answers, I don't know exactly what to do, but I'm here. And I'm willing to sit and wait and be with you. I, I'm willing to, to listen to you and I'm willing to help you walk through the steps that it might take for you to find some healing and some hope, even in the midst of hopelessness in the midst of struggle. That's where so many of us find ourselves when somebody comes to us and says, you know what, I'm not okay. We're like the disciples and we're not sure what to do with that. Just be present. Just be there. That's all that anybody needs and wants from you. to help them walk through this process, to help them understand what their next steps are, to help them just know that they are loved and that they care about and that they're not alone, that we're not alone, that none of us walk through this life alone. Kay Warren, who lost a child to suicide, talks about how to be present with people in a really practical way. She says, mental illness is the no casserole illness. That nobody shows up at your door with a casserole. But that we need to change this stigma by bringing meals, offering childcare, helping with appointments, being a friend, talking about our own mental health struggles and sharing our story because our story is safe here. And the good news is that our story can change here. Psychologist Robert Stolero talks about this, this need for our story to be safe in this way. He says that emotional trauma often occurs when our emotional pain cannot find a relational home in which it can be held. When our emotional pain can't find a relational home in which it can be held, we need to be that home for people. As a church, we need to say, it's okay, wherever you're at, whatever you're wrestling with, this is a safe place. Your story is safe here, your story can change here. That we're willing to wait with you, we're willing to be vigilant with you, we're willing to talk with you, we're willing to be open with you, we're willing to share our story, our hurt, our pain. Jesus says this interesting thing to the disciples, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, the inner self, is often weak. We all struggle, Jesus says. We can't will our way through it. We can only walk our way through it together. Maybe 
be people who are willing to walk through it together. Say, I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to help you find somebody who does. Oftentimes, people will call me and say, hey, I want to come and talk to you about some things that are going on in my life. Always, always, anytime. I'd love to have that conversation. But I'm really upfront with people as well. Like, I only have a limited toolbox. I'm not going to be your counselor. I'm not going to be your therapist. Because there are people who are trained to do just that. And I want to help you make that link. I want to help you find that person who can help you live your life to the fullest. To put you in the right place. I'll listen. I'll listen. I'll love. I'll walk with you. I'll be vigilant with you. But I don't have all the answers. We'll find them together. The church, that's the kind of place we need to be. Jesus, who wrestled in this moment with his humanity. The same Jesus who goes to the cross and when he's resurrected, still bears the scars. Which is a fascinating thing to me, right? I always think, like, when I'm resurrected, I want my body to look a lot better than it does right now. Jesus' friends don't necessarily recognize his face, but they recognize his story. They recognize the scars that he still bears and shows so willingly Because it's when we share those scars, those hurts, those places where we don't have it all together that people find hope and healing through our story, through the way that God is using our story so that others might find that same hope. Jesus, the same Jesus who still bears those scars, says, come to me, all who are heavy and weary worn down don't hide don't shrink away don't pretend but come to the throne with boldness knowing that Jesus is there when it feels like no one else is And as the body of Christ, we're going to learn to be there together. There is no shame in admitting that we don't have it all together. There is no shame in struggling with your mental health. There is no shame in saying I'm wrestling with anxiety, depression, bipolar, PTSD, whatever it is. Don't let shame keep you from finding healing and hope in Christ and in a community of faith that's willing to share their scars as well. Mm-hmm.